Hello everyone, my name is Dipendra and I welcome you all on the behalf of Creative Edge, which is also known as Design Aqua. In Aptitude, there is a topic which is known as Verbal Reasoning. So under Verbal Reasoning, there is a concept which is known as Seating Arrangement. Let's understand this topic with the help of your examples. There you go with the first question for today. I hope you all can find it on the screen. Now, these are the questions where you need to arrange certain kind of things. Well, the arrangement can be a linear arrangement or a circular arrangement. For example, if I read this question, A, P, R, X, S and Z are sitting in a row, right? So this is a question on linear arrangement. How many people are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So these are the 6 people who are sitting in a row. Now what are we told additionally? S and Z are in the center. So see, when we are making, when we are ensuring this, these six people should sit somewhere, S and Z are sitting in the center. So the arrangement could be like this, either like this, or the arrangement could have been like this as well. Well, to make S and Z sit in the center, these are the two possible ways. Well, additionally, what are we told? A and P are at the ends. So in the, at the extremes, A and P are sitting. Again, there are two possibilities. With this combination, it could be like this, that A is sitting here, then P must be sitting there. Or it could have been like this, that if P happens to sit here, A must sit there. With this arrangement as well, these are the other two possibilities. If A happens to sit here, P has to sit the, at the other end. And if P happens to sit at the leftmost end, then A would have to sit on the rightmost end. Right. Now, what are we told additionally? The next clue might help us with eliminating few possibilities. R is sitting to the left of A. Now, that is a very crucial clue. Please understand. If I want to make this R sit on the left of A, A should be there on the right of R. And if A should be there on the right of R, this cannot be the possibility because A should be on the right of R. So, R should come here and there on the right of R, it should be A because R is on the left of A. Similarly, there as well, this possibility should be considered and this possibility should be rejected. So, now if I eliminate few options, I am basically left with these up, these few possibilities, right? One of the arrangements will be this. This is clearly a linear arrangement. The other arrangement could be like this. Continuing further, what am I given next? Who is to the right of P? Obviously, the only option am I left with is this, that A, P, R, X, S. So the only option or the only choice I have is this X. So S and Z, irrespective of the positioning of S and Z, I am still able to decide the right of P is clearly no one but X. So I can clearly answer option D as the correct choice. I hope you have understood or gotten a lot of clarity on sequences, arrangements, Similarly, there is one more question through which I'll give you more insights on these kind of questions. Well, there is your second question for the day. Everyone, let's understand this question together. What are we told? Five girls are sitting on a bench to be photographed. If you are realizing bench to be photographed, which means this is again a problem on linear arrangement. Now, what are we told? See, these are the five girls. One, two, three, four and five. Now, what are we told? Seema is to the left of Rani and to the right of Bindu. You need to understand wherever Seema is, Seema is to the left of Rani, so there is Rani, and to the right of Bindu. So Seema is to the right of Bindu. So this could be the configuration. Wherever Seema sits, in, with respect to Rani, she should be on the left of Rani, right? And with respect to Bindu, Seema should be on the right hand side of Bindu. Continuing further, Mary is to the right of Rani, I repeat, Mary is to the right of Rani. So wherever Rani is, Rani ke right mein, it is Mary. And what are we told additionally? Rita is between Rani and Mary. So Rita is sitting between Rani and Mary. So Rani ke right mein to Mary hai, but there is one more person which is Rita and she happens to sit between Rani and Mary. So these, this is how these five girls are sitting in this manner. Bindu, Seema, Rani, Rita and Mary. Now what are we asked in this question? The question reads as, who is sitting immediate right? Now, there is a difference between just right, the term right and immediate right. Right means anywhere but on the right hand side. But what is the meaning of immediate right? Exactly right. Just next right. Right. So, immediate right to Rita. So, Rita ka immediate right, it is Mary. And the answer should be option C. I hope you are getting a lot of clarity on these kind of questions. How are we visualizing them? How are we making them? And how are we creating these sequences? Let's understand it better through one more example. Let's take this example and let's understand it in a more clearer manner. 
For example, look at this question, students. Well, this is again a question, looks like a question based on linear arrangement, a row kind of an arrangement. A, B, C, D, E, these are the five people sitting on a bench. A is sitting next to B. So A is sitting next to B. Now there are two possibilities. I hope you remember, if A sits next to B, this could be the arrangement or else this could also be the arrangement of making A sit next to B, right? What are we told next? C is sitting next to D. So C and D are also adjacent to each other. I'll write it somewhere else and then I'll merge these two clues with this. So A and B are sitting next to each other. Similarly, C and D are also sitting next to each other. What are we told? D is not sitting with E. So D is not sitting with E. Who is on the left end of the bench? D is not sitting with E. Who is? E is on the left end of the bench. See, this is the bench basically. Right. Now we know that E is on the left end of the bench. So on the left most side, on the extreme left, it should be E. So whichever arrangement I'm going to take, either this arrangement or this arrangement, E is going to be there on the left most side. Right. What are we told? D is not sitting with E. So I will ensure that D does not sit with E. We'll work out that as well. That I need to ensure that D does not sit with E. I need to ensure this particular statement as well. And I know that C and D are also sitting together, adjacent with each other. Right. Continuing further, C is on the second position from the right. Now that is a very important clue. Please understand. From the right hand side, I need to ensure among these five people, C has to sit on the second from the right. C. If these are the two positions from the right hand side, this is the first position on the right hand side, this should be the second position. That is where C needs to sit. And if C happens to sit here, D has to sit here because C and D will sit together. With that, I have ensured this thing as well that D and E are not sitting together. D and E are not sitting together. However, you need to understand that this could also have been a possible arrangement. Well, in that arrangement as well, C and D could have seated like this. Well, let's read it further to eliminate either of these, one of the options. A is to the right of B and E. Now, there is a very important clue. A is to the right of B and E. Now, see, in this particular one, A is to the right of E only. It is not on the right of B. But in this one, A is clearly on the right of B as well as E. So, shall I say, this should be our possible arrangement. This should be the arrangement in which they are seated. Finally, A and C are sitting together. Obviously, this is something redundant. Even if this was not even given to us, we would have still gotten the same result because I'm already eliminate kar chuke hai ek option. And you know, this is clearly getting rejected. In which position A is sitting? So they are asking you position of A. If I were to define it, option A between B and D, no, not exactly between B and D because between B and D, there are two people A and C. Option B reads says between B and C. Yes, that's the absolutely correct answer because between B and C, it is A who is situated and hence option B should be marked. What about option C between E and D? No, not between E and D. E and D are the extremes. Between C and E, no, again, C and E K beach mein, B and A, both of them are sitting. Hence, option B was correctly marked. I hope with that you have gotten a lot of clarities on seating arrangements. Well, this is not only the kind of seating arrangement you deal with. You can deal with circular arrangements and a lot of arrangements are there. So with that, I sign off from this session. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone.